Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to look at how I connect my digital piano into my iPad so I'm able to use the various synthesizers and piano apps which are available on the iOS platform. So let's get started. This first shot, we've got my iPad. It's running AUM and it's got Ravenscroft in one of the audio slots. This is just how I've got the demonstration set up. Uh, it could be any other synthesizer or piano app, either natively or as AUV3. It's just how I've got things set up so I can just check the audio connection. Now, the digital piano that I have, the Kawai, is about 20 years old. It's a little bit more than that. It predates USB MIDI and has instead the round five pin DIN plugs for connecting MIDI devices on the back. I'll explain in a little while how this is connected into the world of the iPad, but just, just bear, bear in mind it's possible and there's, a, there's ways through it. So the first point that we need to look coming out of the iPad is the Apple camera connection kit, that sort of white box on the right hand side plugging into the USB port. Now that's got two devices connected at the moment. The white cable at the bottom is a power cable and that's not essential, but the problem when once you're driving a number of different hardware devices uh, through the iPad, if they're all drawing power from the iPad, you'll run the battery down really quickly and that's not ideal. So having a power pass through is definitely useful. The black USB-A cable is the first part of the connection chain. This connects to my Sabrent powered USB hub and it comes into the hub on the right hand side of the picture. I'll put a big circle over it uh, and that basically means that anything that's going into being plugged into the USB box is then available to be piped into the iPad. So what's in this box? Well, there's a whole mishmash of all sorts. We have a couple of hardware synths connected to it. We have got my audio interface, which is it is sitting up on. Um, we've got the piano itself. And there's, let's say, hardware synths and MIDI input devices. So by connecting the audio interface through the box, rather than going directly into the camera connection kit on the iPad, it means that I can connect all the other devices. We can see on the back the USB in, which is connecting to the hub directly above it. That's on the left. And then on the right hand side, you've got your two outputs. So it's your left and your right channels. Now, that could go to a number of different places. It could go to some external speakers. It could, if you're if you've got a digital piano which will accept audio input, you could connect this directly into your piano so the output from the audio interface would come out of your piano speakers. Um, in my case, I've got it going through a mixing desk which it then attaches to my monitors just simply so when I'm streaming and I've got the, the laptop involved as well, I can control all the different channels. If you're using a digital piano and you were just gen just wanting the iPad sounds to come through the piano speakers. Assuming you've got the, the input jacks on the back of your piano, you could plug that directly from the audio interface into the piano. Now you'd have to be very careful setting the levels of volume because unless you know exactly what the level of impedance of those inputs are, you'd, you wouldn't want to blow up the speakers in that. So obviously go very carefully with that to start with a low volume and and sort of mix and match it until until you know where you stand. If we go back to the USB hub on the top and look at the leftmost USB cable, which is sort of heading off to the left of the picture, that is the lead that goes off to my piano. And the way I do this is via uh, an IK multimedia box called an iRig 2. And essentially that has a connection on one side which goes to the computer, which is on the right hand side here. So we've got a cable which is running from the USB hub going into the iPad. 
On the left hand side, the iRig 2 gives options for MIDI in, MIDI out and MIDI through. And as we're basically sending the MIDI information out of the piano into the iPad, the piano out port is going to be plugged into the in port on the iRig 2. And then that will transfer and convert the messages into something that the iPad will understand. Now, there's a couple of things to be mindful of. First of all, most pianos have two or three pedals which are able to control things like the sustain, it may have a damper pedal, it may have a sustenuto pedal. And you see, mo most iPad piano apps at the moment are designed really with uh, a much more simple setup. Now, although you can get things like sustain pedals for MIDI keyboards, they tend to be just effectively on-off switches. Now, with a piano pedal, there's a differential between zero and one and everything in between. I think in terms of MIDI controllers, I'm not aware of any which work with uh, the, the other pedals on a piano. So it's something to bear in mind that the fact that although the piano has got the, all these pedals, it does rely on the fact, that, the fact of the software being able to utilise them. So I hope this was helpful demonstrating how I connect the, all these worlds together. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will endeavour to answer them. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming over. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please hit that button to express your likeness. And if you're not already subscribing, please subscribe as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot more piano content coming up in the, in the relatively near future. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.